The Grenleg Debates, powering bright ideas. You're watching the 11th season of the Grenleg Debates. Please bear in mind that matches, topics, and positions are randomly selected by schools. The theme for the round of 16 is Grenadian and Caribbean history. I am your chairperson, Rohan Bernard, and I call this house to order. And the motion is, be it resolved, that knowledge of Grenadian and Caribbean history is becoming increasingly irrelevant. The proposition, St. Joseph's Convent, Grenville. The opposition, Presentation Brothers College. Please welcome the first speaker for the proposition. Until lions have their own historians, tears of the hunt shall always glorify the hunter. Nigerian proverb. Good morning all. My colleagues and I support the moot. Be it resolved that knowledge of Grenadian and Caribbean history is becoming increasingly relevant. Permit me to define key terms. Knowledge, facts, information, and skills acquired through experience or education. Oxford Dictionary. History, the study of the whole series of past events connected with a particular person or thing. Oxford Dictionary, irrelevant, not bearing upon, or connected with the matter in hand. Dictionary.com. The mood drives us to ask, relevant to who and irrelevant for what? As for a speaker, I would outline the evidence of this loss of relevance and factors that continue to contribute to this process while my second speaker will provide further points to solidify our argument. In a 2013 article on the American Psychology Association website, Dr. Robin Robertson posits that relevance is a perception that something is interesting and worth knowing. Thus, when persons weigh the relevance of something, they ask these two questions. What am I going to do with this? And what does this have to do with me? If persons are unable to adequately and positively answer these questions, then that thing loses its relevance. Unfortunately, honorable judges, this is exactly what has happened to the knowledge of our history. Additionally, if the knowledge of our history was relevant to us, then we would make a concerted effort as a people to disseminate it, acquire it, and intentionally make use of it. Based on evidence, each of these are at a minimal. In 2017, the Caribbean Examination Council highlighted a decline in student interest to sit Caribbean history and admitted that the syllabus was not relevant to students. In a No Grenada article of the same year, former director of the National Museum and current SGU lecturer, John Angus Martin, challenged his existing information on Grenada's history and also noted that it no longer had relevance to a younger generation. He believes that there is a clear disconnect between today's students and their African heritage. Deputy Chief Education Officer Michelle Peters George added that this decline was due to the removal of history from Form 1 and 2 and the clash between Caribbean history and other subjects in Form 3. Opponents, if the knowledge of our history was so pertinent to our society, would it be so easily placed on a back burner? Honorable judges, from a sociological perspective, Emil Durkheim states that education teaches individuals specific skills necessary for their future occupation, a functionalist view that plays a role in students' lack of value in history. If knowledge of Grenadian and Caribbean history does not appear to serve a real purpose to our society and economy as, say, medicine or engineering, then it becomes increasingly relevant. Why is it that no major carers call for history as a prerequisite and as revealed in our recent SU carrefour, not even law? What will happen to history when students no longer obsess on being eligible for the martial court? Many students already do not choose history because they don't see much relevance to their careers. After all, other social sciences like sociology and psychology are quickly replacing history due to their greater relevance in addressing pressing current problems like poverty and crime. Honorable judges, while it greatly saddens us, we refuse to ignore the reality that there is a decreasing emphasis on the knowledge of our history, a glaring truth that is only getting worse.
the first speaker for the opposition. A people without the knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. Marcus Garvey. Good morning, all. Be it resolved that knowledge of Grenadian and Caribbean history is becoming increasingly irrelevant. As the opposition, we will not be wavered by the proponents' frivolous attempts to misguide you. Knowledge of Grenadian and Caribbean history is not becoming increasingly irrelevant. In fact, it can never be irrelevant. We will divulge the truth by making it clear that Grenadian and Caribbean history is relevant. We dismiss the definitions put forth by our opponents. As first speaker, I will contextually define the key terms of the moot, thereby providing a better perspective for its interpretation. I will make clear the difference between the terms knowledge of versus study of, as it relates to our argument. Then, I will illustrate how knowledge of our history defines our identity. My second speaker will accentuate our line of argument by showing how knowledge of our history is relevant in education, tourism, economic development, and climate change mitigation. Collins Dictionary defines irrelevant as not relating or pertinent to the matter at hand, not important, becoming any change from the lower level of potentiality, the higher level of actuality. Cambridge Dictionary defines history as past events considered together, especially events of a particular country, region, or subject. Increasingly can be defined as more often or to a greater degree. For the purpose of this debate, my team shall refer to Grenadian and Caribbean history as our history. Our opponents may try to beguile you by making it seem like the term knowledge of means the same as the term study of. Honorable Chair, these are two very different terms. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, knowledge, a noun, is the range of one's information and understanding, whereas study, a verb, is the application of mental faculties to the acquisition of knowledge. Knowledge can be acquired through experiences, information dissemination, and study. Therefore, it is safe to say that study is only a subset of knowledge acquisition. The moot will not be served any justice if its interpretation is primarily limited to the formal education of our history. As far as I am concerned, every Grenadian my age and above has a degree in, in, in Ivan, and we never went to school for that. According to Honorable Emmeline Peer, Minister for Education, Human Resource and Religious Affairs, and I quote, our history is a part of us. It is what defines our identity, end of quote. Honorable Chair, it is relevant to know our history because all people are living history. All that we have and who we are were inherited from the past. Our language, our cultures, our traditions and religions were all batons passed on from our ancestors. Even our current technology and infrastructure are not wheels that we have invented. We have just learned how to spin them faster. In fact, our deoxyribonucleic acid, also known as DNA, the thing that makes me, me, and you, you, literally, has been handed down through an inherited genetic template known as the genome. Knowing our history is absolutely relevant for us to have a good understanding of what makes us Grenadian and Caribbean. It correctly positions us as individuals and as a society to envision the bigger picture. It is only from this vantage point can we get a truly accurate view of ourselves. In the words of Louis and Hilton, 2005, history provides us with narratives that tells us who we are, where we came from, and where we should be going. It defines a trajectory which helps construct the essence of a group's identity, how it relates to other groups, and ascertain what its options are for facing present challenges. For my opponents to say that knowledge of our history is becoming irrelevant is tantamount to saying that we as Grenadians and Caribbean citizens are becoming increasingly irrelevant. Are we? I thank you. The second speaker for the proposition. We retain our definitions and stand firm in our position. Pulitzer winning historian Walter McDowell calls history the religion in the modern curriculum where teens learn about values that build their country, the wars fought to protect certain ideals, and the triumphs and failures of different leaders and societies so that they can better understand how their society was shaped and understand their role in it. Well said, Dr. McDougall. But opponents, 
with so much reinterpretation of historical records, biases, and omissions of the truth for political correctness. Is knowledge of our history allowing us to do so? Certainly not. Honorable judges, if the knowledge of history allowed us to better understand how our society was shaped and our role in it, then the bullet holes on Fort George would not be plastered over. And instead of a police headquarters, the fort would be a museum. To paraphrase Peter Bernstein in a 2016 article, when history suddenly becomes irrelevant. The fact that something so unthinkable could occur should have a long lasting impact on our view of life. Yet in the next few weeks, we will be granted a holiday on October 25th. But how many persons recognize the historical significance of this day? Or is it just another day off to relax and fit? Do Grenadians even connect it to the revolution? Or what about March 13th, which is not even a holiday? Or even October 19th? And worthy opponents, if knowledge of our history is not becoming increasingly irrelevant, then why have we closed and abandoned our libraries, especially the public library in St. George's, which should house our valuable archives? It is often said that if we do not know where we come from, we would not know where we are heading. Tell me a point. Is this still believed by a large part of our population, including our peers? Do persons truly believe that they need to know our Grenadian and Caribbean history to survive or thrive in today's society, or even be a better citizen? Our identities in past times were wrapped up in where we come from, who our ancestors were, and what history was attached to us. In a modern world where equality and unconditional respect exist, persons are free to express themselves and feel a sense of worth and significance regardless of their history. They identify with what currently affects them and not on what previously existed. Case in point, ask any Grenadian what makes them Grenadian and what they see as Grenadian. They would mention oil dung, ice green and gold, the nutmeg, and maybe even jab jab. However, do they actually know the history of these symbols? And if they do, does this magically make them more Grenadian? Honorable judges, as we become more globalized, we become less sentimental. If something is not serving a practical purpose, then it becomes less and less useful to us. The situation is too obvious to deny. The knowledge of Grenadian and Caribbean history is becoming increasingly irrelevant. The second speaker for the opposition. We need to focus on the fact that those born in that year of the 1983 trauma are 30 years old in 2013. Some might say we are rapidly becoming irrelevant. We have to consider our civic relevance and what, if anything, we can or will do with the lessons we think we have learned. Good morning, all. We refute the definitions put forth by the proposition and stand by our own. There are always lessons to be learned by our history. In fact, our civic responsibility stems from knowing and understanding it. Undoubtedly, our formal education system is a significant avenue for the acquisition of knowledge of our history, but there are shortcomings within the system. However, there is a silver lining behind this dark cloud. Honorable Emmeline Pei intimated that the government has already begun discussions with the University of the West Indies concerning the revision of the history curriculum. Why? Because of the relevance of having a society that is knowledgeable of our history, especially in this era. The Travel and Tourism Economic Impact 2018 Grenada Report submitted by the World Travel and Tourism Council stated, and I quote, the direct contribution of travel and tourism to GDP was 206 million EC dollars, 7% of total GDP in 2017, and it is forecast to rise by 2.13% in 2018, end of quote. It further stated in 2017, and I quote, travel and tourism is directly supported 3,000 jobs, which accounts for 6.14% of total employment. This is expected to remain unchanged in 2018, end of quote. 
3,000 jobs. Is this not relevant? Knowledge of the historical forces which have shaped our culture is tremendously relevant because it puts the Caribbean in good stead to reap the economic benefits to be derived from the tourism industry. Dr. Kwame Bofu, director of UNESCO Kingston Cluster Office for the Caribbean, noted at the Caribbean Tourism Organization's 11th Annual Conference on Sustainable Tourism Development that, and I quote, heritage tourism is its most rapidly growing international sector, end of quote. This means that greater emphasis must be placed on knowing our history to provide a product which truly diverges our historical essence. According to an OECS macro socioeconomic assessment of the damage caused by Hurricane Ivan September 2004, the passage of Ivan, terrible as it has been, should also be viewed as an opportunity through the process of rebuilding to put systems in place to assist in reducing overall impacts of such an event when they do occur. End of quote. It is the knowledge of our history that has informed the new life-saving policies that we've now adopted towards climate change and disaster management. According to Sylvan McIntyre, National Disaster Coordinator of the National Disaster Management Agency, NADMA, and I quote, prior to Hurricane Ivan, the system of the Caribbean, including Grenada, looked at responding to situations rather than being proactive and employing mitigation strategies. End of quote. Honorable Chair, timekeepers, audience, debaters, knowledge of Grenadian and Caribbean history can never be irrelevant. The opposition cross-examiner. Well, the opponent, would you concede that our country has developed over the last decade? Yes, opponent. What do you base your answer on? The future? May I please repeat? What are you basing your answer on, the future? What we are currently presented is, is showing how our, countries, how our country is progressing. My with the opponent, what do you measure this off of, my with the opponent? Not the Things history? The not the history, my with the opponent. Yes, opponent. Exactly, so our history is still relevant exact today. Uh, opponent, this is not what we are debating today. We my are not the debating opponent. if history is irrelevant. We are debating if the knowledge of history is irrelevant. My with the opponent, this allows different. us to develop as a nation to see if we're going in the right path or the opponent, wrong path. I'm not Moving on, my with the opponent. Moving on, history is irrelevant. Moving on, my with the opponent. How can you even suggest that our history is becoming increasingly irrelevant when, according to my first speaker, we continue to practice the culture, language, traditions, and religions that have been passed down Opponent, to us? Opponent, firstly, you skipped an entire section of the moot, the knowledge of history. And secondly, we can practice these things but not know the true significance of what they hold to us. My worthy opponent, but our culture still exists today, my worthy opponent. Our culture is living history. I'm not saying this, for example, Jab Jab. My worthy opponent, so many Therefore, our history is still relevant. It provides us with a cultural identity, my worthy opponent. Opponent, things like Jab Jab. Many people practice this, but do they know the true significance my of Jab Jab? Opponent. Do they know the historical connection to Jab Jab? My or do they just take part in it because... My worthy depends. opponent, the very music that we use in our juve, my worthy opponent, is of the past. Opponent, I'm not saying history is irrelevant. We still use this, Thank you, my, but my worthy opponent. Thank but you for agreeing with me, my worthy opponent. Permit. Thank you for agreeing with me, my worthy opponent. Moving on. Why do you say that knowledge of our history is becoming increasingly relevant when the Grenada Tourism Authority has created certified programs to enlighten tour guides on our history as the best of the experience of tourists? Opponent, just because the economy is bettering because of history doesn't mean that people know about it, doesn't mean that people use it in their everyday lives My just because the opponent, it. tourists come in year in, year out in order to experience but our culture. But this is different from history. Do they this come gives to us Grenada economic for boost, the history? My opponent. Exactly, but do, do they come for the history? Do they know more about the history? I is it just to come to visit the island, there's a difference. My worthy point, they come to experience our culture and in experiencing a the culture, they learn our music. My worthy point, by the way, is there any other continent out of the Caribbean that has our cultural identity, my worthy opponent? But right now we are debating Exactly, my worthy opponent. So they come to our, in the Caribbean to experience our cultural identity to learn about but our do, culture, my worthy opponent. There's a difference between culture and history, my opponent. My opponent, they are, they are related, my worthy opponent. They're hand in hand. Yes, but they, you could practice a culture but do not know the history my about the culture. My worthy opponent, the culture is part of the history, my worthy opponent. People practice culture but don't know my the significant opponent, meaning about the culture. Our very language, my worthy opponent, our dialect. Yes, we can culture, use it. We opponents. can use it, but we do not know where it comes from. My there is opponents. a difference. Therefore, it comes from the history, my worthy opponent. The culture is part yes, of the history. Yes, but I can practice my something and not know the history. My worthy opponent. The proposition 
cross-examiner. Recognizing the decline in student history, CXC recommended to make history compulsory as a means of making the syllabus relevant. Isn't it showing that the knowledge of history is becoming irrelevant? My worthy opponent, that shows that they realize the relevance of the subject, so they make it compulsory. Opponent. But my worthy opponents, can I finish, please, my worthy opponents? Popularity has nothing to do with relevance. Popularity in schools has nothing opponent, to do with relevance. My worthy opponents, opponent, can I please CXC, finish my worthy opponents? The CXC, judges, CXC stated finish, themselves. Answer, the CXC states themselves. The recommendation is to make the syllabus, the syllabus relevant to students. So basically, they are basically admitting that at this point of time, it is not, it is not relevant to the My students. My worthy opponent, interest in doing the subject is different from relevance. Acquisition of knowledge has three ways. There's experience, there's information dissemination, there's study. That is only one way of knowledge opponent, acquisition. But the CXC based it, basically admitted it themselves. They said to make the syllabus relevant, admitting that right now, as a right note, it is not my word, the, irrelevant. The syllabus relevant. relevant, my word, the point. This history will always be relevant, my word, the point. We are history. We are living history, my word, the point. The knowledge of history. My word, the point. The knowledge question. of... Biology and math have a level of certainty, allowing them to main, remain relevant, unlike history. That stresses on, uh, unlike history, that stresses on other, others' interpretation of past events. Can you appreciate how the knowledge of history loses its relevance? Oh, the opponents, are you basing that of a popularity or relevance, my worthy opponents? Opponent, but relevance is using the knowledge. My worthy, hence, op my worthy it does, opponent, I ask you. Statistics my proven. Opponent, popularity. In this case, this is in terms of popularity. Everybody is compulsory to math and, math opponent, and English. If something is relevant, people will use it. People will share it. Hence, gaining its popularity. The relevance of something contributes to its popularity hand in hand. Exactly, my worthy opponent. So therefore, the, at, the, at the moment, it's not interest, my worthy opponent. We're not worrying about interest. We're worrying about the relevance but interest of contributes history. to relevance. If somebody is, my if something is relevant to some person, it would affect the relevance of something, would, my worthy opponent. It would say they have interest my worthy in opponent, it. Interest does not affect relevance. Relevance is opponent, a necessity of something, relevant, my worthy opponent. It would be interesting to people. My worthy opponent, that's not... Miss, my worthy opponent, water... We may, not like, we may not like vegetables, my opponent. With the speed at which you are affected by current issues, what in the knowledge of historical events which no longer affect us become increasingly relevant? Can you please repeat your question, my worthy opponent? With the speed at which current issues are happening, wouldn't people think that the knowledge of historical events which no longer affect us become irrelevant to them? My worthy opponent, all past events continue to affect us. As said by Silver McIntyre, we, I'm not saying we have it changed our ways us. of preparing for disasters from reactive but what about to the proactive. This has shown us a flaw in our disaster pre pre preparation, my worthy opponents. But we have now developed from that time. You the opposition rebuttal speaker. Good morning, all. To note, you did not show a degree to which increasingly irrelevant to show the increasingly relevant. According to my first speaker, it is it is a de it shows a degree, yet you fail to show a degree. Firstly, your first speakers noted that students are losing interest. Now, with the opponents, we cannot equate popularity to relevance. Study of is merely a subset of knowledge acquisition, and we cannot equate it to the entire history of the Caribbean and Grenada. Secondly, your first speaker spoke of history not being required for jobs. Now, with the opponents, our, our employers do not require us to drink water, but does that make it irrelevant? Of course not. Furthermore, as my first speaker stated, there are a plethora of jobs that require history. The tourism sector is our driving force, and the driving force of the tourism sector is history. It provides 3,000 jobs. How can we say this isn't relevant? Thirdly, your first speaker enunciated that the reason um, about the Morris Show Cup, my opponents, the reason that the Morris Show Cup has, show, has made history a mandatory subject is because of its relevance. Because of the history, because the knowledge of Grenadian and Caribbean history is relevant, is the reason that the Mauritius Cup has now made it mandatory. We cannot equate popularity to, irrelevant, to relevance. Your second speaker spoke of biasness. My opponents, not all aspects of history are subject to biasness. And even if they are, we must look at all aspects of history, whether it be biased, to determine its relevance. Secondly, your, first, your second speaker spoke, audaciously stated that history does, is losing its practicality, my opponents. As my first speaker, as my second speaker clearly delineated, as Mr. Silver Mac, Sylvan McIntyre stated, 
hurricanes such as Ivan and Maria are what made it possible for us to create life-saving policies. This is our history and it has had practical effects on us today. The only reason we have become proactive instead of reactive is because of our history. Furthermore, your second speaker spoke... The proposition rebuttal speaker. Bring a horse to the water, but you can't make a drink unless it's thirsty. Good morning, all. My opponents, why would the minister want to discuss our history curriculum if, and look into outside sources if she didn't realize that it was being brushed aside and not being used in the, in the day for right now? In other words, making it irrelevant? Right here in Grenada, they pushed aside our history and changed our name from the Isle of Spice to Pure Grenada for branding purposes and put aside our, our history. And, and how do you say, how would you say, how would you come to say that they are using, to, they are using our tourism to promote our history? They plastered over the bullet holes on the fort. It is not even showcased as a tourist um, attraction. How could you say that people are coming here for our history when they are not even seeing it? Your second speaker stated that after Ivan, Nadma changed the strategies and they, they left out what they did before. My opponent, what they did before is not irrelevant. The history of what they did before is irrelevant. It is not used in this day. The cross examiner, examiner talked about interest. Dr. Rob, Dr. Robin Robinson puts this that relevance is interesting and worth knowing. Your first speaker stated that saying history is irrelevant is saying that we as Grenadians are irrelevant. My opponents, are we from the past? We are right here. We are relevant. They continue to talk about um, the. It continue to talk about um, important. My opponent, if the if they are not if they are not interested in it, then it wouldn't be important to them. Then in point, making it irrelevant. Stay woke. And the winner is Presentation Brothers College. Thank you for joining us. Tune in again for season 11 of the Grand Lake Debates. Visit us on Facebook to vote for your favorite debater. The Grand Lake Debates, powering bright ideas. Vote for your favorite debater on our Facebook page. The Grand Lake Debates, powering bright ideas.